and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We back in the same, back in the same, like cracking the same, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for all this good, 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 good content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some good news you can use, some good knowledge you throw. You can't get nobody's college though, big dog. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe for all this good content we have going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Good knowledge you throw. You can't get in nobody's college though. Mods keep the blicks down. I will tell y'all when and if needed to shoot. We're gonna jump into this content, man. But before we do, make sure you hit the description button, become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Follow the new page. If you ain't follow the new page, Paging 10. Follow the new page, Pagington. Follow the new page, Pagington. You feel me? Get into that if you ain't got into that. East Oakland in the building. Shout out to the East Oakley, East Oaklandites. Shout out to them. We finna jump into this content, man. But before we do, hit the description button. Become part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Follow the new page. If you ain't follow the new page, uh, subscribe. Become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all say tap in for the latest and the greatest. And what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Y'all get into that. Get into that. You feel me? Um, What else we gonna talk about? Broke Baby Mama out now all streaming platforms. Get into that if you ain't got into that, man. We finna jump into our first story. We got DJ Academics accepts a dangerous young Miami interview to address their beef. Shout out to Chicks Move, man. We finna jump into this first piece of content. We got Academics. We got Young Miami. Let's get into this content. Let's go. Get ready. You know what to do, Chicks. Chicks Move. Hey, Chicks Move. Appreciate all the coverage that you've been doing. I've been watching your shit for a while. Man. I just subscribed to your shit too, bro. <coughs> T10, what are you talking about? Is because you asked me about the peace walk and I said that we had three other stories to cover first and now you want to come in here trying to be pushy and talk about what we should do? Is that what you're doing? T T10, if your next comment and a super chat or with a cash app, mods, forever 86, not in forever. Start them off with five minutes. Start them off with five minutes and then we'll go from there. Are you in here? I don't come in here trying to imply like you're going to determine what we're talking about. I said that we'll get to it when we get to it. Chill out and relax. All this massive blah, 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 not letting you speak freely. Matter of fact, 86,000 seconds. We ain't finna give him a chance. Guns down after that. T10, give 86,000. He's done for the day. Come back tomorrow. Do me a favor, yo. Close that back door. Close that door. Ah, oh, man, the setup is in place, you guys. I repeat, the setup is in place. Now, two enemies, DJ Academics and Young Miami, are set to meet soon. Or at least they have an agreement and place to interview with each other. Young Miami reached out to Academics to come on his show. She tweeted saying, yo, let's do Carisha Please Season 2, Academics. I would love a sit down from my point of view. Everybody's point of view is very important. Now, for anybody initially seeing this tweet with any backstory any context this now, looks what wild what i can say yep. is young miami sitting down with dj academics could be very interesting young young miami and dj academics have had a very um tumultuous back and forth bop, 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 back and forth back and forth back and forth man and young miami is not the biggest fan of dj academics criticism and dj academics is not the fan of young miami's anything so with that being said man i think that a dj academics and a young miami could be very profitable i think a dj academics and a young miami could be very lucrative i think a dj academics and a young miami could be very interesting you feel me Miami and academics have disrespected each other so many times. They've cursed at each other. They violated each other all kind of ways. And now we see this tweet of her asking academics to come on his show. What? And on top of that, academics responds back saying, yo, I'm down. Now everybody calm down and relax. This actually came from DJ academics live stream two days ago when he was speaking about Joe Budden going off on young Miami. Academics actually seemed to have a little bit of compassion towards Carisha. He was the one who initially offered to sit down with young Miami. Not only that, Academics also gave her some pretty good advice. Here's what Academics said. You know, I don't want to pile on to this, this young Miami thing. In, in, in actuality, uh, young Miami, after Joe, you know, just eloquently dismantled you, I dismantled you before. If y'all didn't see it, Joe Button took young Miami out brick by brick by brick by brick to her entire house toppled for sure i actually want to offer you an olive branch okay i i, I do want to offer you an olive branch um i feel like what's happening here is that we're talking too much at each other and no one's talking to each other and it doesn't have to be with me because your hatred for me because i ain't gonna lie i have souffle joe ass <laughs> 
I have, I have. If y'all want to watch the full interview, I did a full breakdown of this. Go check it out, DJ Academics in Miami. Really done it to you in the last year. So it doesn't have to be me. But if you do want to sit with me, I'm down. I say it should be me or Joe. Karish, I, I think you need to sit with people who, you know, want to, you know, because you have a side and they have a side. And, and I kind of. That's why I said at 645 because it's not it's not ready yet. Get your side. Your side is like, yo, y'all just hating on me. Yo, what are y'all talking about? Like, I'm some lazy bum chick. I sell thongs. Like, I like I sell candles. What are you talking about? Except half of the, 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 the people who are crit criticizing you, their critique about you, you is you not caring about or you're not selling music. So I do think you should sit with, with um, these people rather than tweeting it out. Also, I do think that could only help you because where you are now, you're, you're just a social media influencer. And I do think you want to do music. I don't know how passionate you are. I, I, I still think you enjoy it. I see you, you tweeted out that City Girls Act Up, which is written by Yachty, is six times platinum. So you're definitely... Does anybody care about a young Miami anything? Ladies, I know y'all be in the chat. Um, do y'all care about anything to do with young Miami? Ladies, do anybody care about anything to do with young Miami? proud about a music accomplishment you probably do want to do music go out there with her no one's no one's here to bully young miami and and i actually um want to give her some advice unless she's just like really egotistical or she's just really delusional and, and i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop short with any ad hominem attacks i think the reason why i think she should sit with someone whether me or joe is because we're talking past each other. We're calling her, we're, we're, we're criticizing her music career a lot. And she keeps talking about her career as this entrepreneur slash influencer. So we're talking like this. And uh, Junior, what's the deal, fool? Um, you know, we're just okay, yeah, so none of the women in the chat seem like they give a damn about anything young Miami has going on. Shout out to Casey undercover. I see you, baby. It's at the point of diminishing returns. There's nothing you can say about Carisha and her music career that will have any impact beyond what's already said, mostly by me, even by Joe and a few others. So um, we could either talk to her and hope those conversations will continue to some positive positive movements or a progression or we could just keep ridiculing her and i'm gonna be honest with you it is at the point that just musically and by the way i don't think she's necessarily a victim because you know she pops her shit but when it comes to like music like th there's nothing really she can say back and now it just kind of feels like we're just kind of dunking on dunking on her uh, so for anybody thinking this was a random ass tweet from young Miami to possibly set up academics and have him beat up by Saucy Santana, it's not. But this is a very smart move from young Miami. I'm sure she probably saw her numbers go up while she was beefing with Joe and she probably realized that there's something to gain by interacting with big media personalities like Joe and academics. And keep in mind, she just started the new season of her show. This is a perfect way to keep all the ditty attention away from Getting backdoored by Saucy Santana is absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. Shh. Shh. Herself and also boost the ratings and views for her show. Now, if you're looking at it from Academics' point of view, Academics absolutely has nothing to gain by going on Young Miami's show and everything to lose. During that interview, yeah, I think it would make more sense for Young Miami to go on DJ Academics' show rather than Academics going on Young Miami's show. We don't want to see Academics on Carisha, please. We don't care about that. What we, love, what, we, what we would love to see is Carisha sit down with Academics, not Academics sit down with Carisha, for sure. View, she's going to try to spin you. She's going to ask you about the recent grip allegations that's going on with your mans. And on top of that, what happens if Saucy Santana makes an appearance? Even worse, what if Saucy puts hands on you? Then what? There's absolutely nothing that the audience is going Saucy, to gain from Saucy Santana pulling up on academics and putting this hands on interview with academics and Young Miami. Nobody is going to change their mind about Young Miami. And for Young Miami fans, they're not going to change their mind about how they feel about academics.
but i get it this is all entertainment it's going to get people watching it's going to get people talking about it and really i'll be honest with you guys the losers in this situation is us the fans you guys get in the comments below do you guys think carisha is trying to set up academics what if diddy pops out then what post your comments below subscribe to my channel like this video i'll see you guys later man shout out to chicks move man make sure y'all like comment subscribe show some love to chicks move chat y'all stay here you right here don't go nowhere y'all kick it uh, no y'all don't worry about it y'all kick it we about it today so make sure you like comment subscribe for more of the good content we got going on man red dots to the left y'all know the rest man we about it to the next one